I'm Brooke with MoMarsh, and today I'm going to teach you how to properly install the MoMarsh VersaVest on your dog. So upon opening your MoMarsh VersaVest box, you'll notice there's a clear list of instructions here. And the first thing we're going to want to do is take the vest apart to get ready to install it on your dog. So here we've got the chest panel. We've got the back left cover panel and the back right cover panel. And these are going to be the last step in this process. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the two cover panels aside. We're going to take the back left main panel, back right main panel, and we're going to zip them together down the back using the oversized zipper. And then we're going to attach the chest panel to the main left panel, main right panel with the Velcro. And keep in mind that this is how we're going to get all of our adjustment on the Versa vest. Depending on how tight or loose you install this on your back left main panel and back right main panel will determine the proper fit for your dog. So the neck and the torso section will be installed on the back left panel. Same thing on the right side, making it look like a dog vest. Once you get it to this point, simply unzip the zipper in the back and you're ready to have your dog step into the vest. So now that we've got the main components of the Versa vest assembled, we're ready to fit our dog. The dog I've got today is my dog Max. Max is about 75 pounds right now, but during hunting season he's around 65 is his fighting weight. We've got this vest fit for a bigger dog than Max, but that's going to make this process easier. So we're going to ask Max to put his arms through these holes here. Come on, buddy. There you go. And it's very loose, so it's very easy to put on. And you can see the vest is on him, but we've got some problems here. We've got way too much slack here. This is not going to keep my dog warm. There's water and air that can get in here, and the vest is not going to function properly. So we're going to use the adjustment points on each side. So we're going to get this vest tight equally on both sides on the neck, but we're not going to stop there. We've got the vest sized appropriately now, but the shape is what we're going to change next. And the way we change our shape is by changing the Velcro's direction. And what that's going to do is allow us to close these armholes here with the vest tight. I can go ahead and change that angle and you see we remove those, those holes right there in the shoulders. And the same thing with the chest and the waist portion. We're going to get it tight on each side and we're not going to stop there. We're going to make sure the shape is correct. So you can see it's kind of bulging here in the back, so we're going to change the direction we're bringing it. It's going to help close up some of these holes, allowing this vest to work properly. Spend some time when you get to this point, because this is what's going to make your vest fit appropriately. The more time you spend sizing your dog with the Versa vest, the better it's going to fit your dog, and the warmer your dog's going to be, and the more protected your dog's going to be. At this point, go ahead and let your dog stand up and walk around a little bit. You need to see how the vest is fitting as your dog moves around, and you can make adjustments accordingly. Unless your dog changes shape and size, never have to do it again. The vest is tight, water sticks, cold air cannot get in. You should be able to fit a finger or two in here, but you really don't want to be able to stick your whole hand in there. That's going to make a very, very happy dog for you whenever it gets cold. So once you've got the Versa vest fit for your dog properly, you've adjusted the neck portions and the waist portions on your dog, we're simply going to remove the vest by using the oversized zipper on the back, and then we're going to lock everything in with our camouflage replacement cover panels. So once you have the vest properly fit to your dog, you're going to want to lock everything in with our cover panels. We're going to start here with the back left main panel portion. We're going to lock everything in with the back left cover panel. And the best way to do that is simply use this D-ring slot here that the D-ring goes in as a guide. Place it there. Make sure the D-ring fits. And then line up the edges. And take your time with this process. This is going to allow you to make sure the vest fits properly. Locked everything in. It's nice and clean. And there we go, the left side is locked in. There's not going to be any reason for mud, sticks, debris to ever be an issue because this Velcro is super strong and these cover panels lock everything in. So same thing, the other side, you'll notice there's a D-ring slot here and here. We're going to go line everything up, lock it all in. Now your Versa vest is ready to go. So once you've got the Versa vest properly fit and you've got it locked in with the cover panels, all we're going to have to do, place the dog's arms through the armholes Use the oversized zipper in the back, and it should be tight. If it's not tight, it's not working properly, then you're ready to go. Thank you for watching this video. Our team here at Mo Marsh set out to build the world's best dog vest, and we truly feel like we've done that. So if you need any help or have any questions about your dog's Versa vest, please call us. We're happy to help you.